Hello everyone! In this video I will show you what scripting methods are available inside Mobile Traffic System API and how to use them. For that let's create an empty script, add it to a game object and open it. I will increase the size of the text for a better view. First, we need to initialize the traffic and for that we need two different objects, the player and the carpool that needs to be assigned from editor. To initialize the traffic call glaytrafficsystem.manager.initialize and pass these arguments. The player, the maximum number of vehicles, let's say 20, the vehicle pool we just created, and the distances. If you need more details about this, you can check the traffic component tutorial. Make these fields public so they can be assigned in Inspector. Assign the references. As you can see, this car pool contains all the cars that come with the package. Save the scene and hit play. As you can see, our cars are working as expected. Now I will show you more API methods. The first I want to show is the lights on and off methods. So if I press 1 on my keyboard the lights will be on and if I press 2 the lights will be off. To switch the lights use lightrafficsystem.manager.updateVehicleLights and if the parameter is true the lights are on and if it is false the lights are off. Let's test it. As you can see, if I press 1 the lights are on and if I press 2 the lights are off. Another important method is the set density method. If you want your traffic to be more dense in the center of your city, you can use this method to achieve that. When I press space, I will reduce the vehicle density to only 5 vehicles by calling glaytrafficsystem.manager.setTrafficDensity and pass the new density number, in my case 5. The system will start to remove vehicles until this number is reached. If I hit play, you can see that I have 20 active cars. And now, I will hit space and the cars start to be removed when they are outside of view and outside of the remove distance, not immediately. So you will not notice when you play. As you can see, only 5 cards are left and if one of them is removed, another will be added in its place. Another method I want to show is for removing all cards from a specific area. I will use the control key to demonstrate this. You should call clear traffic on area, which requires a position, in this case the player, so I will clear all the cards around the player, and the radius in meters. When I press Ctrl, 
All the cards that are around the player are removed, as you can see, and they are spawned in another part of the game. This might be useful if you have a special mission and you want to clear the traffic so you can start your mission. Another method that I want to show it is similar with the one above, but it will not destroy the cards, only disconnect the waypoints from a specified area, so the cards will not be able to enter in that area until the waypoints are connected again. If I press the left ALT key, I will disable the waypoints using Disable Area Waypoints, and if I press the right ALT key, I will enable them back. To be able to see the disabled waypoints, go inside the debug window and check disabled waypoints. Now if I hit the left alt, you can see that these waypoints are disabled and the cars cannot continue driving through them, so they will stop. You can enable the waypoints again and the cars will resume driving. There are two more methods that I want to mention. The set camera method, this is used in a setup with multiple players or camera, to notify that the current player changed, so the system should start spawning traffic around the new location. The other method is set engine volume. So, if your game has a master volume or a sound controller, every time your master volume changed, the changes should be passed to the traffic system using this call. Currently, those are the most important methods available inside the package. If you need some new ones, let me know inside the comments or by email. Thank you for watching.